Have I told you guys about this whole、uh, study of the brain? Where basically there's this.、Um, what's the word? What's the word? Framework of. Uh, thinking of how the consciousness works, okay, how the brain works. Think about it this way so, your brain has a few parts. Let's just for now say that your brain has the chimp and your brain has the computer, right? The chimp is basically your reactions, your reflexes, your basically the stuff you can't control, including feelings. Okay, it's your reflexes and all that, okay, your natural tendencies. And then the computer is basically all the objectiveness and the brain and basically logic and reasoning. Okay, what happens first is that when something happens, an event occurs, how the brain processes, is, processes it is that it goes through the chimp first. So you get a reaction first, right? A natural reaction. For example, you see someone hot, oh my god, I'm crushing. Okay, and then the computer, the logic, the reasoning is secondary.、Hmm. And then there are other stuff that affects these two, which are other things such as, you know, past experiences, traumas, insecurities, and stuff like that, which works alongside the computer or like tries to basically、uh, dissuade the computer from having pure, pure logic. But if you make it so that your computer is strong enough to work against all these odds, you'll be fine and you can think objectively. And then your computer has to, your computer in your brain has to be in a, you have to place it in a sort of way where you're like, okay, I know I'm feeling this way. For example, I know I'm angry, but does it make sense? No. So, what's the most logical step that I should do so that I don't affect this beloved person that's in front of my face right now that I really don't want to take out my anger on, even though I'm angry and I really want to yell at someone? So you have to be able to、um, reform your way of thinking in a sort of way that it can recognize and acknowledge your chimp and then do the necessary steps to somewhat、uh, push it towards the right direction, I guess. Yeah, that, it's actually a framework, guys. You can、um, look up the chimp analogy, I think. The chimp brain, you can look it up on Google. There's a whole book about it and a whole like research site about it. So it's a full ass framework, like research based.、Hmm. I think one of the first times I realized that that happens to me、um, is that、uh, sometimes, I don't know if you, can, you guys can relate to this, but like when I'm on my blood moon, aka periods, I can feel when my hormones are fucking me up. Like I know when I get. Irritated over certain things that I don't get irritated over. And I know that's probably my hormones working. See, that's my computer brain working against the chimp, right? Because if we're talking about the chimp, I'll just be like, haha, mood swings, woohoo. <laughs> But my brain, my computer side of the brain is like, okay, Noira, you're on your fucking bloody waterfall period.、Uh, hormones might be taking place. So maybe this shit is unreasonable and then you're just having a fucking mood swing. So maybe chillax a tad. <laughs> so it's an interesting frame- framework if you want to like get some insight on how to think on a daily.、Mm. How to untrain the computer part when it's too strong. I'm not trained to give you advice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have zero degree in psychology, so I, I can't say anything about that. But a computer part is too strong, aka you're saying the reasoning is too strong? Hmm. There was a case about that as well. If you guys want to hear about this, the first time I heard about this was actually on Ali Abdal's podcast. And Ali Abdal didn't mention that he seemed to be more of a thinking person than a Feels person. So, more on the computer side, and he rationalized everything rather than the chimp side. So, you need to be able, I think, if I remember correctly, his advice was, or like the professor's advice to Ali Abdal, was that、um, you should recognize where, or like recognize what it looks like when you're just rationalizing too hard. And when you do, Start acknowledging that you can open yourself up more to the chimp slash feels side, to the reactionary, reactionary side. But, like, don't take my word for it. I think you should do your own research about that <laughs> because this topic has been,、uh, it's been a while since I last listened to it. So, I might have forgotten some details, unfortunately.
a trustor's advice it usually helps then uh, i'm fulfilling my job as an onesan reporter i'm sorry i can't get over the fact that i keep calling myself that jesus christ what matters the most i think or is that being able to acknowledge you know that okay this is what's happening this is what i should be doing and this is where i'm at right now now how do i get to where i'm supposed where i'm supposed to be at or where i want to be at that's basically the basis and foundation for anything right it always starts from humility and acknowledgement hmm. that's my life advice for today <laughs> reading up on this chimp brain thing i've never thought so much was happening in my noggin it's interesting right the, if you if you read about it it's actually very interesting and thank you for coming to my ted talks <laughs>